that paddle out looks absolutely brutal. You can just see the waves rolling in. Okay, so there's a huge swell slated to hit this week. Now, this swell is supposed to rival last year's record setting swell in which I went down to San Diego and chased. I chose San Diego over Rincon last year. So this year I'm gonna choose Rincon over San Diego. And there's a couple of problems that I'm running into. It's a super high tide in the morning. That's not good. My second problem is that there's no cams at Rincon. Basically meaning that I'm kind of going up there blind. So I kind of have this dilemma right now. Do I go to Rincon, chance of getting skunked? Or do I play it safe and go to San Diego? All right, I made up my mind. It was three o'clock in the morning, but at least I made up my mind. It's hard to sleep when there's a huge swell coming in. It's never as easy as simply chasing a swell and going to one place and scoring that. It's hard just sitting around waiting for the tide to drop, especially when I'm checking the cams and seeing that San Diego seems to be absolutely firing. I have total FOMO. Did I make the wrong decision? There's no cam and ring con, so I can't tell if it's blown out or if it's any good at all. So I hopped in my car, started heading up north, and the good thing is that I saw waves where I normally don't see waves breaking. Just look at the lines rolling in from way outside. This, is, this isn't normal. Oh man, first glance, this looks good. Look at these lines. They're just going all the way across the point, all the way into the bay. This is exactly what I was hoping to find. You see the lines rolling in. I'm way out there and way in here is your first sign of humans. The beach was lined up with people just like me wanting to get a look at Rincon with big waves. That paddle out looks absolutely brutal. You can just see the waves rolling in and to get through all that white water, it's more than just going to the gym and working out. This is going to burn your shoulders for the next two weeks. But once you were up and riding, one of these beauties made that nightmare of a paddle kind of fade away in your memory. Until uh, you got to the end and you had to paddle back out again.
was exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to see really big Rincon. So I'm happy to say I can check this off my to-do list. And for the next well, I don't know where I'm going to end up. But it'll probably be somewhere new. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson, and I'll see you on the sand.